Hey YouTube friends! So, as you can probably tell, I'm not in England. In fact, if you've been watching my vlog channel, you'll know that I'm in LA. If you haven't been watching my vlog channel, what are you doing? Go and watch it. So, behind me here, I have the magnificent Hollywood Hills, and the weather has been beautiful. So, over the next few days, I'm going to be compiling my outfits together to show you sort of what I've been wearing, to give you ideas for um, summer in England, or, you know, going away on holiday, that sort of thing. So, this is my first outfit. And I'm going to start with sunglasses. What I've gone for is a sort of tortoise shell because I'm quite pale. If I go for anything sort of dark and bold, it can make my skin look really light and a bit too much. So, my shirt is from Levi's. Now, I feel like lots of people um, overthink summer a bit and try to accessorize too much or add many, too many layers. But the whole point about summer is it's got to be functional. You've got to stay cool in the hot weather. So, just a basic shirt is so handy. You can roll the sleeves up like I've done, or you can wear them down. You can wear it open with a vest underneath or you can layer it up with a blazer or a cardigan or something when the weather gets a bit cooler. So you can wear it for pretty much any occasion. Um, this is like a cornflower blue, which is ideal for this time of year because it's a really light colour, so it's not going to make you really hot, but also it goes with lots of things and it looks really summery. Okay, moving down to my legs, I have on sort of casual trousers. These are by Dockers. I think these are like the slim or extra slim fit. What's good about these is that they're not like super duper tight and sweaty and also because they're sort of a cotton material they're forgiving and they're not going to make you sort of clammy and horrible. And on my feet I have loafers. Now um, in the summertime the sort of open foot thing is kind of pretty essential because your feet get really sweaty and I've gone for a rounded toe because you can get loafers in many different shapes but a rounded toe is better for my feet because they're huge. So that is my first outfit done. Join me tomorrow, or that won't be tomorrow, it'll be on the end of this part, um, for my next outfit and I will see you soon. Hey, so it's the next day, which means it's the next outfit. Now, Tan has just told me that this is her favourite outfit on me ever. So, ever. this is what it is. What I like about this, let me take these off, it's a bit rude to talk to you with the sunglasses on. What I like about this outfit is how cheap it is to make, but how expensive it looks. So, it, it makes you look like you're worth a million dollars. So, firstly, cheap sort of blue grey t shirt, lightweight. Um, you just get these from Top Man or anywhere, it doesn't have to cost a fortune. I mean, they, Top Man do t shirts for like two for ten pounds. As long as it fits you okay, and this sort of colour's great because it sort of goes with the lighter trousers that I'm now showing you. Um, these are off white chinos, again from Top Man. They were about £28, but they fit like a charm, um, and they are so on trend this season. I'm trying to make me do a spin. I want to show them your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Little details like the double pocket and things make them look a lot more expensive. And these are about £28, so they're a cheap bargain. And also, I got a student discount on them, and I got them at a time it was like 20% off, so they were super cheap. Um, the belt, I never talked about this belt, it's just from Zara. Um, and it was cheap, it's just a basic brown belt. Brown looks really good contrast with the, the white. And then, right down the bottom here, I have on my boat shoes. These are a different pair of ones you usually see, because these are the suede ones which I find a little harder to wear, but they look really good with um, these um, trousers and they sort of match the t-shirt kind of. A little tip with uh, these shoes, because if you wear them barefoot, your feet get very sweaty. Look at these little bad boys. They look really ugly, <laughs> just on your feet like that, but then you never know you're wearing them, and they are so cheap and so handy. So that is outfit number two done for day two, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. So unfortunately, this is the last day I'm in this hotel. This amazing view behind me is going to disappear. Um, it's far too hot to wear this outfit right now, but it does get a lot cooler in the evening. So this is what it is. Also, it's really good for um, at home. So this is from Reese, and it's a bright rust jumper. Um, now, bright colours are really cool this season, but they're not particularly easy to wear. You need to find something that's going to fit with your skin tone, um, but is also going to be easy to wear with other things. So down below, I have my jeans. Now, I would say. When you're wearing something so bright, you want to either have a really neutral colour, like the off-white trousers I wore in my last outfit, or something like um, denim, which is nice and easily wearable up or down. I'm wearing my boat shoes again, which you've seen constantly in all my videos lately. So that is it. That's all three outfits done while I've been staying at this hotel. I hope you found this interesting and helpful, whether you're from LA or anywhere else or at home. Um, thank you all for watching. I love you all loads, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Yes, to make them. So you make his own web shooter, which I think is cool, and it makes really satisfying.